Yo, 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 it's your cool homeboy, Hi Vu, talking to you from my kitchen. I've been bragging to people about how I make pizzas from scratch. Yeah, you heard me right. I have been making pizzas from scratch. So, if I can do it, you can do it. So let's go see how it's done real easy. Woof. So you know, one of the most important part of making a, the dough is the yeast. So here we have just some store-bought bottle of Fleischmann yeast for making a dough. Any kind of dough will do, but today we're making a pizza dough. To prepare the yeast, you take a small bowl and half fill with some room temperature water. And then you're gonna put in two teaspoons of yeast, like so. And then you're just gonna stir it in like so. So now we're gonna leave the yeast to grow for about 20 minutes at room temperature. You know when it's done is when it's all fizzy up. So just let's leave it here and then we'll come back later, okay? So while we're waiting for the yeast to get ready, we're gonna prepare the dry ingredient. The most important part beside the yeast for the dough is the flour. I'm going to use some white flour. Uh, how much? Who knows? Just put in as much as you want. So basically I'm gonna fill up about a third way up for this bowl. I'm gonna make enough dough for at least two pizzas and maybe some bread. You know what I'm saying? So now you can add some sugar. The sugar will help the yeast to grow later. How much sugar? Maybe one teaspoon. And then you can add some salt. Yay much. Maybe half a teaspoon. And now we're gonna mix the dry ingredients so that the salt, the flour, and the sugar are all mixed together. Woo wee! Let's go check the yeast. All right. The yeast is all fizzy now, so we're ready to mix in the wet ingredient. So first, we're going to pour in a little bit of water. Just a little bit. And then we're going to mix. And then you keep adding more. Like that. And then you mix some more. Until it has the consistency of uh, Play-Doh. You know what I'm saying? And now for the fun part. Sprinkle some flour on the table and then we dump the dough on to the table on top of the flour and it's kind of wet so we're going to add some more flour. So if the dough is too wet, you just keep adding more flour, just a little bit of a time. Yo, so this is the funnest part of making the, the dough. You basically just fold the dough and be gentle about it, right? You know what I'm saying? and uh, add flour when it, if it's still too wet. And you know when it's done? When the dough no longer stick to your fingers. All right, that's it, we're almost done. There's nothing to it. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna wait 
and let it rise. So I'm going to put it back into the bowl like this and then we're going to cover it. So we're going to use some saran wrap. And cover the bowl like this and we're just gonna let it sit and rise all right so we can put it aside for a couple of hours but what's the fun in that you know how people have pets I have a ball of dough it's alive so I'm gonna go and have some fun with it hey baby I'm gonna keep you warm me and you we're gonna have some fun yeah take that take that die zombie die I know, right? So sad. So, after leaving the dough to rise overnight, it has more than doubled size. Remember how small the ball was? Look, the ball is now twice as big as it used to be. So we're gonna go ahead and make a pizza. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is put flour on my pizza peel. I have a cheap peel. It is not made of metal, so it might be sticky. So I'm going to put a lot of flour and then I'm going to pour out a piece big enough for my intended pizza. And we're gonna put it down like a so. Doesn't have to be pretty, because you're making the pizza for yourself. So the first thing I'm going to put on the pizza is the pizza sauce. Here I'm just using puree tomato from La San Marzano. But you can make the sauce any way you want because you're making your own pizza. Because this is just a plain tomato, I'm going to put a little bit of taste in it with salt, dry oregano, not too much, mozzarella, You can put on any kind of topping that you like. Since it's your own pizza, you put in, you put on whatever you like. I know, right? My own pizza. I can put anything I like. And finally, the pepperoni. It's important to make sure the pizza peel is dry or it's gonna stick. All right, we're ready to bake. Yo, now so we're ready to bake the pizza. It's real simple. Just preheat the oven for 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Yo, so for the best result, we're gonna use a pizza stone, kind of like this one here. So now we're ready to put the pizza in the oven. Like so. Not the most pretty thing, but it's gonna work. So, uh, depending on how big your pizza is, huh, and how much stuff you put in it, um, you can bake anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. But always watch. 
All right. Isn't that a thing of beauty? I'm gonna cut it with a pizza cutter. Homemade pizza from scratch. Yeah, I know, right? It's a thing of beauty. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh my god. It's so delicious. And the dough. The homemade dough is what made the pizza. Baby, this is where it's at. Ma chérie, mon amour, que le petit chien pièce alentour. Mmm, c'est merveilleux, mes amis. La pizza est faite à la maison, hein? Délicieux. Mine. This is good pizza. When you eat homemade pizzas, you eat the crust too. You don't leave the crust behind because that's the best thing. Oh yeah. It's like eating a baguette, one of them French bread with pizza topping on top. Mmm, mmm, mama! Yeah, man, as you can see, it didn't take much to make a pizza from scratch. See, real simple. Even I can do it, so can you. So, go ahead, make your own pizza. That way, you make it the way you like. You put whatever you like on it. You're not constrained to whatever the pizza store sells you. You make it your way, all right? So go ahead. Go, make your own pizza. Mmm. You're still here? Go, make your pizza. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. You're a bit 